From her badass first scene, where she survived an explosion, to showing up banged and bruised at Gibbs's desk to solve the case, here are NCIS Katrina Law's most watched moment. First, let me tell you about her epic entrance. You know what they say, the first impression's the last impression, and Law nailed hers. In season 18, episode 15, her character Jessica Knight had to deal with a hostage situation, which got so bad, the victim's boyfriend pulled a gun on her, threatening her life. To make matters worse, the woman was pregnant, so you can imagine how fast Jessica had to think. Since he had a gun, she couldn't just get her team to tackle him, so she negotiated with him for a whole hour, trying to calm him down. Once she learned his girlfriend was pregnant, she talked to him about it till he let his guard down and let her go. But that wasn't it. Oh no. As soon as the hostage ran outside, the house exploded. That's an NCIS twist if I've ever seen one. Jessica was inside, and of course, she was the only survivor. With a booming entrance like this, Knight was bound to become one of the coolest characters in the series. But she wasn't always seen that way. Right off the bat, some fans found her to be too pushy. After the whole bomb went off, it killed the whole team except for her, which wasn't too believable for some folks. I mean, she was in there just like everyone else. How'd she escape with a few injuries, let alone her life? People thought that the writers wanted to force her character into the story, since she immediately wanted to join the investigative team too. She was hospitalized for a while, but that didn't stop her from wanting to know what happened to her squad. A mysterious bomb out of nowhere? Obviously, that's fishy. So she checked herself out of the hospital and went straight to headquarters to join the bomb investigation. With her no-nonsense attitude and badass survival skills that don't make sense, she can be either a boss lady or an obnoxious person, depending on how you see her. Plus, you can't really join a whole criminal investigation like that, especially if you were in the explosion. Speaking of the bomb, it was a direct threat to the team, so the suspect had to be someone powerful who wanted them dead. This wasn't a fresh storyline either, as a fan pointed out that the whole whodunit situation has already happened many times on the show. The whole deal with equipment not working properly and the person who discovers the faulty device gets mysteriously killed off? Yeah, that trope's a bit tired if you ask me. Paired with Knight's arrival, people thought the writers were just filling words in the script, saying that they ran out of storylines, what with the show being 18 seasons and counting. Some people hated her so much they couldn't stand to look at her, saying that she ruined the episode. The thing is, she stayed true to her passion, going from a recurring role to a main character in season 19. This did wonders for Law, who was getting hate in the beginning, because now she got more time with the cast, and the writers paid attention to her character, giving her more screen time too. If you're questioning her badassery, let me tell you about her fight sequence in Season 19, Episode 13. Props to Katrina, because dealing with a loose suspect ain't easy, especially if he's dangerous. The guy made a run for it when the team showed up. And guess who catches him in the street? Agent Knight, of course. She even dropped her gun because he tackled her and got cocky thinking he could outrun her. After all, wasn't she a defenseless woman? Wrong. Jessica had to think fast, so she broke a broom, turned it into a weapon, and went at him. It wouldn't have been an epic fight scene if the suspect didn't pull out a knife, which Jessica managed to fend off and throw him to the ground. Despite being in an unfair bout, she had the upper hand and hit him when he got back up, since he clearly didn't realize who his competition was. The backup arrived soon, already with their guns, but even they were standing in shock at how Agent Knight handled him. Since that was way beyond her pay grade, the guy was backed into a corner, completely helpless, all thanks to Jessica alone. It was such a fun scene to watch, because the perpetrator even begged the team to cuff him, just to end his misery. This was a scene that made fans fall in love with her, because you gotta be really good at your job if criminals are asking you to take them to the slammer. A Reddit user even wondered why the character was so hated at first, and it's probably because they hated her because she was new. A lot of people revealed that they were iffy about Law's character, because they didn't want to accept change. It wasn't until she stayed on the show and proved her insane negotiation skills and her combat ones till they realized she's actually not half bad. The girl was on the React team, so of course she's got skills. Another fan pointed out that she wasn't on Gibbs's team. He didn't choose her, and that makes all the difference in the world to NCIS fans. It's hard not to love Gibbs 
Gibbs since he was the head man in charge. The fan base absolutely loves her chemistry with the cast, too. And one user said that she really lifts up the tone of the show with her humor and her optimism. For them, the brooding vibe was getting too boring. And it was good to have Jessica, who gets along with almost everybody, brighten their screens up. One fan noticed that her banter with Torres is too good. And in a show like NCIS, where you see the worst crimes imaginable, comedy helps take the edge off. In season 19, episode 13, Jimmy Palmer got stuck in an automatic lockdown in a lab, leaving his kid Victoria in a car with Agent Torres and Knight to look after. Jessica isn't as good with kids as her partner, who's unnatural at talking to Victoria. Later on in the episode, the pair go to a crime scene where a dead victim was stuck in a truck wheel. It's obviously a scary sight, but these two make the viewing experience easier because Torres, as usual, kept making fun of her. The minute she went into work mode and talked about Case, he told her that that's her real voice compared to the fake one that she was putting on for Victoria. She snapped back by saying that she's not as good as he is with children, even though her relationship with her new Niece is good. He dropped a funny truth bomb on her, telling her that kids are like people, like small people, so you just gotta talk to them like people. Meanwhile, in the background, a bloody victim with a crazy criminal record was stuck in a wheel. Crazy, right? The thing is, she's also shown to be really thoughtful, as they revealed in season 18 that Jessica wasn't being pushy for no reason. Her entrance didn't just annoy some fans, the NCIS team themselves were confused about what her deal was, because she kept digging her nose into the bomb explosion case. Why couldn't she let it go? Especially since she was lucky enough to survive, which must have traumatized her as well. Turns out, she wasn't trying too hard to be cool or wanting to upstage the rest of the agents. She really wanted to get to the bottom of the case because she loved her team, who all got killed. She said that they'd do the same for her if the roles were reversed. A caring agent who brings depth and charisma at the same time? Sign me up. Plus, her charisma's been there since day one, when she showed up at Gibbs's desk after leaving the hospital hospital, bandages on her neck and all. She got there, sat down at the desk, and asked the team to tell her about the bomb incident. All of them were just shocked, standing there in utter silence. It was hilarious. Jessica was never the type to hesitate. She made herself at home from the get-go, leaving everybody else, even Gibbs, confused as to what exactly was happening. You know, like who is she and why is she so involved? Not to mention the fact that she's a bombing victim who was supposed to be hooked to tubes in the ICU. Throughout the whole season, she acted like she hadn't been in a life-threatening explosion, like she didn't even care about her injuries, and only cared that her sock was in a weird position in her shoe. And hey, doesn't that happen to all of us? My point is, she just didn't give a crap about anything, except for the case and how to solve it. So, there you have it. From showing up bandaged and bruised at Gibbs's desk to solve case, to her badass first scene where she survived an explosion, these were NCIS Katrina Law's most watched moments.